Um, I wanted to close out on a... Ah, the baby is kicky. <laughs> okay, I wanted to close out on a, um, on a real topic right now um, regarding George Floyd. Um, I just, I am lost for words. I know I posted this up yesterday, um, but it's very similar to the, the murdering of Eric Garner. And um, it's just so unfortunate. You know, it's very surreal when you see these moments and, you know, sometimes technology can be a bit of a, um, it can be this, it can be overwhelming, but it's amazing how technology has been serving us in moments like this, where they're documenting uh, these tragic, sad moments um, in real time. And we're able to really play back, unfortunately play back the scenarios, but hopefully play them back to where they can help um, the families of those that have lost someone and the person that's lost their lives. Um, it is truly so sad. I, I just thought to myself when I saw that, uh, you know, gentleman, when I saw George on the ground, I just want to cry. Um, when I saw him on the ground with the knee to his neck, um, it's like, that could be my son. So, um, it's really sad. Uh, really, really, really sad and really unfortunate. And, um, there just has to be a better way, you know, there has to be a better way than, uh, you know, the way that people are handling, officers are handling people when arresting them. Um, there has to be a better way. There has to be a stopping point. You know, he could have just removed his knee to a different part of his body if he was trying to keep him down. He just was so, the officer was so wrapped up in his uh, position and, and neglecting George and the result is irreversible. The result is horrifying. The result is so, so sad. Um, and just surreal that we watched, that we watched, we, we were able to see that. Um, I don't have any words. I don't have any, I, I, I'm lost for words. Um, you know, so I, I just want to say, you know, um, to everyone out there, let's keep our faith strong. Um, praying for justice for George, George's family. Um, I'm praying for justice. I'm praying for this stuff to stop and to not happen, to not keep happening. I'm praying for a, a change to happen in the judicial systems, um, in the police systems, the way of, you know, of uh, arresting has to change. Like there, there just has to be something different. There has to be something done significantly different than what's been allowed and has been done before. So um, we have to... Uh, we have to stick together um, during this time in times like this um, and keep on, um, <clears throat> you know, being strong during times like this together and lifting up families like George's family in prayer. And, you know, it's just it, it would be great if if people's lives like the Eric Garner's, Ahmed Aubrey, um, George, George, George's life. Um, I mean, just everyone, I mean, just the history of people that we've lost to police brutality. It would be so amazing if uh, their lives, they didn't have to lose their lives in vain. You know, that something different can come, uh, something, a change can happen from all of this. And that people that have the power can wake up and see there has to be a change and not be afraid to make that change and not be afraid to... Uh, you know, implement those changes in the system and to uh, the people that have done harm to really, you know, they should be, they should be uh, put away, you know, um, for what they've done. So I am just praying for justice for George, praying for justice for Ahmed, um, Ahmad, sorry, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, you know, it just has to stop. Enough is enough. Um, and so uh, I love you guys. Um, gonna stay, gonna stay prayerful. Um, just gonna believe and change. Gonna stay hopeful. Um, like I said, that could have been my son. Um, that's how I looked at that when I saw that gentleman on the ground. That that could be my son. Uh, you know. So enough is enough. Um, I love you guys, and um, let's stay prayerful. All right, and let's stay strong together. And um, 
and keep believing. I be- I'm believing in a change and I ultimately believe in God. I know God is the highest power and he's in control of all of it. So no person that's doing these uh, horrible acts uh, uh, of racism, of uh, of just everything, ever, all the wrongdoing, it's not going to go unnoticed. So I love you guys and um, I-, I will see you guys next Wednesday. Okay? Bye. Peace out.